I'm Jeanette Takamura, Dean of the School of Social Work, and I'm delighted to welcome you all here this afternoon. I know that you could have been somewhere else, and so it means even more to us that you're here. We are actually launching a very, very exciting center today. And this is a center for complicated grief. For those of you who are not familiar with the phenomenon called complicated grief, let me tell you that there are people who have said to me, well, isn't grief all the same? I mean, you know, why is this distinguished somehow? And it is a distinct form of grief. It's really one that is long-lasting, all-encompassing. It absorbs the individual. And it leaves the person who's experiencing it feeling really stuck. It can go on for years and years. So we can only really have the center because we are fortunate enough to have in our faculty Dr. Catherine Shear, who we were able to recruit from the University of Pittsburgh. She is an expert in the area. In fact, she's done much of the groundbreaking research and has also been able to formulate both the assessment tools as well as the interventions, contributed to formulating the interventions that are very important for people who are experiencing complicated grief. <coughs> Now, it's unfortunate that I have to say this. It's fortunate that we have Catherine with us. But we are living in an era, it seems, when we are even more aware of all of the natural disasters that can affect us, mass shootings, if you will, the wonderful aging of the population in huge numbers. It's really a demographic revolution. But with that comes also the specter of losing people sometime at the end of their life. Terrorism, and I could go on and on. We are impacted in our daily lives in ways that we never before were. And so the Center on Complicated Grief becomes even more important. And we are delighted that we have the expert to, to be heading the center. This afternoon, we have a number of experts who you'll hear from, and they will share their perspectives. Dr. George Bonanno, who, George, could you stand just for a minute? He'll come up a little later. He is a professor at Teachers College and an expert uh, who has focused on human resilience. And I teach a course on military social work, and I mentioned that Dr. Bonanno has mentioned the importance of remembering the resilience of our warriors, not just focusing on the devastation that's there, but also their resilience. He is a clinical psychologist, and we have with us as well Dr. Zoe Donaldson. Is Zoe here? There she is. And Dr. Donaldson is a neurogeneticist. Her focus is on risk and resilience as well. And we're pleased to have her. She um, actually has done some research on the neurobiology of grief. We have Stephanie Moldberg. And Stephanie, I saw you just a minute ago. Has she stepped up? There she is. Stephanie Moldberg is actually going to share with you her own personal experience of having gone through complicated grief, of, of knowing what that's like, and what it's like to actually receive assistance so that she could get well beyond the phenomenon. And finally, we will be hearing from two very important people. Of course, Dr. Catherine Shear, the Marion Kenworthy Professor of Psychiatry and Social Work. It's a very long title, um, who is heading the center. We are going to hear from her about the mission of the center and its planned as well as, as its current activities. And last but not least, we will be hearing from Ann Kaplan, who is one of the trustees of the university. And my hope is that Anne will be able to uh, note for you some of the reasons why the center is so important to the university as well. So let me start by uh, welcoming Dr. Bonanno to the podium. And he will spend a few minutes just sharing with you some of his own perspectives on grief and resilience. 